You're good. Oh, am I actually live? <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. Um, so I'm totally uh, cat allergy, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to be sniffling a lot. I'm sure everybody heard it a lot on the stream beforehand, and I'm all disheveled as a result. So heads up for that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, my name's Ultra David. This is Level 3 Focus. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, today I want to talk about Ultra Street Fighter 4. It's out in Japan in the arcade version, and it's been really cool to watch. I hope that if you have any interest in Street Fighter 4 that you have been paying attention to it. I basically wake up in the morning, and I go to YouTube and I search USF4 on YouTube, and then I like order it by most recent and see what has what's new. And I've been doing that each of the last several days. And there have been lots of things. And, uh, you know, I guess we can dedicate some time in future episodes to actual character changes, but that's kind of specific, uh, maybe more specific than, than most episodes will have time for. So I think what I'll do instead, at least for now, is talk about the kind of wider system changes. And some of them are, are direct system changes and some of them are kind of de facto system changes. So uh, the direct ones are, as I'm sure everybody knows, uh, red focus and delayed wake up uh, and, and uh, the W ultra mechanic. Those are really the changes to the game. The, the other one that I, I guess I would define as a system change is that Dragon Punch FADC toward is now minus five on block rather than between minus one and minus three, depending on the character. Um, in other words, it's less safe. Everybody in the game can punish now on Dragon Punch FADC Thwart. So that's that's one of the changes. Uh, red focus, you know, the, the two things that you can get out of that are red focusing in the neutral game, which uh, allows you to absorb, you know, however many hits until your red focus activation uh, starts. That, that is to say the animation that, that hits starts. Uh, or if there's a focus breaker, but you know you can get you can absorb however many normal attacks. Uh, the other, of course, is red focus cancel or RFC, and RFC is a way to combo into red focus crumple by using three bars, and you can only combo from certain things. Have, there has to be enough hit stun available. So, like most fierces and roundhouses will cancel. Some close strongs will combo into it. Certain special moves will combo into it. That kind of thing. It's a it's kind of a character specific thing. Um, but that's, you know, those are the two uses for that. As far as delayed wake-up goes, the way that it works is uh, you have to press delayed wake-up right when your character's back hits the ground. You have to mash on a little button. Um, it's very easy to do, but you have to do it right then. That is to say, you can't fall on the ground and wait and then delay. It has to be done as you fall on the ground. Um, and then it makes you wake up 11 frames later. That's it. Um, as far as the W Ultra mechanic goes, it's just that you can pick both Ultras at once, and it makes each of the Ultras do less damage. Um, that's all. Oh, the other thing about Red Focus is that you absorb more meter, uh, you absorb more Ultra meter when you absorb with it. So, anyway, those are the those are like the three, uh, the the four biggest things, and I've seen to some degree people change their play diff uh, to, into different ways. Uh, as a response to that. Um, and what I'm going to do today is show, uh, I think I have seven or eight videos lined up um, about, uh, you know, what the changes are and how people are using them. And I'm not going to go through the whole of each video. One of them is from uh, an HO video that's like an hour and a half long that clearly we're not going to go through. <laughs> um, and, and even for some of the shorter videos, I'm just going to jump ahead straight to the rounds that are important. Because um, I just want to show, you know, how the precise moments of, of, of change are, and, and, and where they are, and, and what they do for different characters, and for different play styles, and, and for different decisions, and, and all that stuff. And, and I'll talk at the end about how it seems to be changing the game overall. So, I guess with that introduction, do you want to jump into the old first video? Sure. Ready to go here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Changes. Go Ducks. Yeah. <laughs> Looking yeah, forward to Ducks versus Los Angeles Kings. I hope it happens. Kings just won the game six, so it's going to oh, seventh nice. game. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, okay, so this is Geef versus Evil Ryu. Baby Nine, Evil Ryu. A lot of people are talking about uh, about Evil Ryu as being a potential high tier, top tier even uh, kind of character. Um, yeah, it's a really strong neutral game, and it was buffed. 
and he has more life than he did before, so he can take more risks than he did before. But I'm not too concerned about any of that. In fact, why don't we just move ahead like half the video? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is good. So, talk about Geef. Geef can now combo from EX green hand into red focus cancel. I can RFC out of it, that is to say, in combo. And that, yeah, it costs four bars, but it's super dangerous, and you'll see why. Um, and in the next video, you'll see why as well. It makes it so that Zangief is dangerous from a range that he has not been dangerous from before. It means that he can deal a ton of damage in just very different kind of situations. So, okay, here it is. Ooh, you guessed wrong. You're dead from that range. Do you see that range? See how he backdashed out? You can go backwards. Maybe not that far. Yeah. Yeah, watch out. Oh, you guessed wrong. Oh, and by the way, he could have had a lot more life and still died. That combo does oh, yeah. a, a cool 550. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he, even though Evil Ryu now has 950 life rather than 900, 550 life is a pretty, pretty big chunk of life to lose in just that small situation. Uh, so... What, what could Geef have gotten otherwise? Well, he could have gotten in vanilla, I guess. He could have gotten stand short EX hand for the knockdown, which is fine. Um, in Super and in AE and in AE 2012, all he could have gotten was stand short EX hand. Maybe he gets Fierce Pile Driver for 250. I don't even know if he could have gotten Fierce from that range, maybe. Um, but he's not getting that kind of damage. It's just, nope. And, and, and Baby Nine even did jab DP. Not Fierce DP, probably thinking, well, if I do Fierce DP, he's going to be able to, like, buffer in a normal and get 720 on me and deal some damage. But now, nope, all Keith needs is that sweet stand light kick. All right, let's 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 go to the next video. <laughs> you can tell I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's way better than Super. That's a way better way oh, to spend four bars. It's so much better. Yeah. And and speaking as a Geef player, like, I almost never used Super. It was like almost not even relevant for me because I had Ultra One. Why would I bother? And most of the meter I had, I, I wasted it. I spent it frivolously on, you know, EX360 kick when I didn't need to, or EX SPD when I didn't need to. That's it. I mean, sure, I do EX hand sometimes, and you'll see EX hand come out from uh, Zangitan in in this video, which is why I just want to keep, you know, just let it run because he's still willing to do it. So it's like there it is. So it's not like he's playing completely without EX hand. But Geef builds a lot of meter pretty quickly if you care about it. And I did care about it back in vanilla because of EX hand knockdown. EX hand was like a big threat. So I, I walked away and I pressed uh, Lariat a lot. And then yeah, after it didn't knock down, I, you know, who, who, who bothered? Nobody. Um, because it just wasn't as important with Geef. But now, you see Zangitan walking around and lots of lariats when he doesn't have full super. Much more lariat heavy, much more meter intensive kind of gameplay. No EX juggle there. Right, he doesn't waste the EX juggle there, exactly. Exactly, he's not, you can see how, how important meter is for this guy. Ooh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, he even loses oh, that round, but it's like whatever. Okay. Uh, but go, go, go back. See, see how much we did. The damage that was, I think it was a little later. Oh, yeah, nice. this is probably fine. It's coming up not too long from now. Because he basically just mashes out Ex Hand and like sees what happens. See? Yeah, he just like mashes it. Oh, that's like hit confirmed. Oh, he, he yeah, he yeah, definitely hit confirmed. Hit -confirmed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. And I've seen Rufus's use this, too. I just didn't get the video for it. But you know how sometimes you'll see Rufus's combo into EX Galactic Tornado FADC toward? Mm -hmm. Rather than doing EX Galactic Tornado FADC toward, they'll do Fierce Galactic Tornado Red Focus Cancel into whatever. And that does more damage by a considerable margin. Because when you do EX Galactic Tornado, you're not actually hitting. Right? Like, you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're waiting, so... Um, yeah, Zangief. Mm, mm, mm. Looking forward to that. 
Uh, okay, let's uh, let's move on to the next video. Oh no, it's coming on. Oh. <coughs> All right, no. So in this video, let's move it on forward to ten twenty. That's fine. That's cool. So in this video, by the way, which was from Ubican, uh, they're at twitch.tv and youtube.com slash Ubican, Y-U-B-I-K-E-N. They have a lot of good Street Fighter 4 coverage in general, and obviously since Ultra's been out, they've had a lot of good stuff. So I want to show this because I want to show Vega in this new version of the game. Now in the betas, Vega had a bunch of buffs, and he was super strong, and they were ranging everything from the frame data that he has to, to uh, you know, the, the hitboxes on some of his things, to invincibility on the flip kick, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, he was able to link into Ultra, it was insane. Um, and then he got most of those taken away, and people, you know, were a little upset by that. But I think it's because they didn't really consider what Vega can do in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Think about Red Focus and what we just saw with Geef. Vega, usually when he walks around, uh, if he if he's at footsie range, he's a strong character, but he's not a damaging character. Uh, he can do crouching jab, crouching jab, crouching jab, crouching strong EX, but that doesn't do very much damage, and it's a bunch of one-frame links, and it's, you know, it's not easy. Uh, and it's only one bar, of course, but it doesn't deal that much damage. So, so you're not necessarily scared of Vega from a from a damage perspective when far away. If he's up close, yeah, he can get good damage. Jump fierce, close fierce, etc. But that doesn't happen too often for the character. Um, he's really at his best at the mid-range, and so for him to be damaging there is pretty scary. And in this video, we're gonna see this Vega player, I don't remember where it is, it's coming up at some point in this in this match. We're gonna see him link uh, into Stan Roundhouse into Red Focus Cancel. Well, he's not going to do it here, obviously. I think it actually might be coming up, if I recall correctly. He's got a lot of meter. He has a lot of meter. Okay. Now, Vega was another character who, uh... Oh! Hit confirm! Okay, that was from close, rather than far. But the same kind of thing can be done from farther away, from, like, considerably farther away. And he can link out of that with uh, crouching jab and with crouching medium kick into the roundhouse, into red focus cancel. And and unfortunately, Balrog dies before he you know before you can see how much damage this ends up doing. I calculated it out. It's going to be something like 400, 450, depending on on you know how things have changed in in Ultra. Um, so this this really opens up Vega's game, I think. That's of course always with. Uh, max Ultra counted, right? That yeah, that yeah. is that was with Max Ultra. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But yeah, the point is that he's just a he's a more damaging character. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's it. He actually that that continues to be an interesting match, uh, where he goes on that Vega player goes on and does similar things against other characters, and it's really cool. I do recommend checking it out. Um, but yeah, you can so you can see really how Red Focus cancel really helps some characters. If, you're, if your character doesn't need to spend EX, if your character has ranges where it's not terribly damaging, uh, but where it can cancel, where it can combo into red focus cancel from, then it's really going to make use of this thing. Uh, and I, I'm thinking of you know, characters like Geef and Vega, I think are, are really two at the top. I think that Dudley is a major one. In the beta, at least, Toward Fierce comboed into red focus cancel, into, yeah, into RFC. Uh, and that makes him really dangerous from a range where he isn't that dangerous in Street Fighter 4 and previous versions. Obviously, he's very damaging up close if he gets his mix-ups going. But from the range where Toward Fierce works, not usually. Uh, so in Ultra, he's going to have much more damage available to him from you know farther ranges. And it's going to be interesting, I think. So, okay. Uh, as far as Red Focus absorbing stuff goes, I think I've seen that like a few times, um, but but never very good. Uh, the only theory that you know people are talking about is with Elena. Because it absorbs, because it builds Ultra Meter so much faster, people are theorizing that they will play Elena to build Meter and then spend it absorbing stuff with Red Focus. 
so say like you absorb Akuma Red Red Fireball with uh, Red Focus. I mean, you're at Ultra already. And if you have healing, then you're going to be pretty annoying to fight against because you're the idea is that you'll have healing constantly. Okay? <laughs> so, I mean, these are theories that people are bandying about. We're not sure how it's going to play off because uh, we haven't seen people do them. But, okay? Um, anyway, I guess that's it for the Red Focus section. Want to take a little break? Yeah, we'll talk about delayed wake up and so forth after this.